Welcome, this is where nerds come to learn things. If it's your first time here, click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy it. Okay, this is about how to get a bootable USB or hard drive or some of that um, to actually boot properly on Mac OS X. Now, it's a common problem that uh, if you have a bootable drive, which is external, like a USB drive or flash drive, you know, or um, you know, even SSD or hard drive in an external case, um, if you're trying to boot up as an emergency disk, you can have problems actually booting. So it'll start to boot, it'll get through the boot process, and it will display a no entry or no permission icon on the screen, and that's as far as it goes. And then it might even restart and try again and just keep going in a boot loop. Okay. Now, if you get that, but it does actually like initially look like it's booting normally. What that means is that there is a boot partition that has found a disk to boot from. It's found an operating system, but there's some kind of error. Either the system's corrupted or there's a permissions problem. It's something I come across quite often, but I always forget what it is. Now, what I'm going to show you is what I've found, and it's also a solution which I haven't yet found listed on the internet. So, this is what I found fixed it for me, and other solutions I've read haven't done a thing. So I thought I'd share this and maybe help you out a little bit. Okay, so here is a get info window from a disk I've got mounted on my computer. This is a repair disk. Now this disk actually had that problem I was describing where it wouldn't boot. So I've got a multiple partition disk, it's got 16 partitions on it, all right? and it boots from some of them but not all of them. So this disk here won't boot properly, it gives that no permission or no entry logo on the screen halfway through the boot process. And what I found is it's this thing here the read only section here for everyone there's two things you need to do you need to set this to be read and write for everyone and ignore ownership on this volume this seems to be left less influential this one here seems to be the main thing if you make sure that is set to read and write and that says ignore you should be pretty much set so I'm gonna um, unlock this and I need to do this off screen so you don't see what I'm doing because uh, it's going to pop up my name. So first, you have to put your credentials in to unlock it. So, so I clicked on the uh, the unlock icon there, and it's unlocked it. So all you got to do, ignore ownership permission for this volume. Tick that, and change the read write thing to read and write. Okay. All right. So that's all you got to do, and that will um, that will then in theory, should let you boot up. It's worked for me. I've, I've tried it a few times now, and each time it's worked. So that's probably a solution, which is the actual solution. It may not be the best solution, but that's what's working for me. None of these other solutions I've seen have mentioned changing that users list to be read and write for everyone. And that seems to be the key, because if you're booting up off a um, install disk, there is no account booted, right? And because you're not actually booted into an account, because it isn't one, it doesn't know what to do. So if you set it for everyone can read and write, because it has to write to the disk a little bit, obviously it's doing something in the background where it writes, where normally it may not do, but in the old systems it wouldn't do it, I think. It's obviously trying to write to the USB flash drive or whatever you're booting from, and so it needs to be able to do that, which is why it fails. Okay, hope you found it interesting.